Thanks for coming to my channel again. Now I had a rather uncomfortable experience last time I went to Tesco. I go to Tesco now about every three weeks. Um, so I'm not exactly a regular customer there. And at the end of Tesco now, they give you a ticket and they say, you have saved such and such, or you, 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 if, you, if you haven't saved something and it's slightly more expensive at Tesco than another supermarket, they'll give you money off the next shop. So they give you a little voucher. And I, well, I've got so many things in my wallet, I, I, it takes me a little while to find it. So anyway, as I say, I had a rather uncomfortable experience there. I went to the checkout, I've been going around and did the shopping list and, uh, and got most of the things and, and, and as seems to be the case, the, shop assist, the checkout person was an elderly man, elderly, um, as, there's quite a lot of elderly there, which is fine, and obviously he wasn't the fastest person and I was in no hurry and uh, put it all out on the conveyor and we were going through quite nicely and i had gone about a quarter of the way through and this woman um, came up and she had all her stuff behind me on the conveyor and uh, she had her card out and she was she was right up by my no she pushed her trolley right up by the checkout right up by me and she had her card on the desk in front of the, um, in front of her shopping. And um, she was sort of, you know, as they people do, they'd, du, du, you know, tut tut. I don't know what, what was it about really. Anyway, um, and it came for me to pay and I was looking for my voucher. And I said, oh, I've got a voucher here somewhere. And I got one out and the voucher was for ran out on the 1st of April, so that wasn't any good. And I thought, sure, I had another voucher. And then she said, oh, oh, I always get behind someone like this. Right in my earshot as well it was. And um, I was sort of quite, uh, I was quite uh, hurt actually. Someone like what? I thought, well, I, th I could see what she was implying. She was implying that I was a half-wit. Um, and uh, I didn't react, but then later on I thought about how I could have reacted. I mean, I could have, um, I could have asked the checkout man to call security. I could have given her back as good as she got. I could have slowed down even more, and etc., uh, etc. Et um, so I was running through my options on the way back. But she was a rather sad individual because... I mean, if, if someone's got an attitude like that, I mean, they can't have many friends because they'd upset everybody. And uh, I remember doing a video a couple of weeks ago about uh, the power of now or the sacrament of the present moment. So, of course, I, I mean, I've been in the situation where you're queuing up waiting to check out and you want things to go a bit faster. But I tend to sort of just think of things that I can look at or stories I could make up or whatever um, you know rather than sort of think what you want to do in the future sort of the power of now you know enjoy the moment you know just rest or just think about things or just enjoy being alive for a few moments but she obviously wasn't in that sort of uh, power of now type mode she just wanted to get on and um, get on with the next thing or whatever that was you know I don't know whether it was very important or not, but um, I didn't say anything. Um, but but it played on my mind. It played on my mind, and um, I suppose it still plays on my mind a bit. And it's difficult to feel sorry for her because um, she was rather unpleasant. But I suppose that's what I've got to try and do, isn't it? <laughs> right. Bye for now.